Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I'm here to share a quick little tip. In, in my Make Yourself Into a Maker workshop, I share about how I go and keep track of all the amazing ideas that I find online. And this is a little tip where I use a website called IFTTT. Many of you have probably heard of it before, but if not, this website is a game changer. Basically, it's if this, then that will happen. And so there are tons of things already created. I'm not going to go into all the details, but it, I use tons of these already in my daily life just to automate my system. But when I'm on Twitter and I come across really amazing ideas that I want to store for later use, as I go through it, I'm like, oh, this is a really great idea. I want to come back to this. I want to be able to store it and not click and move things around. And so Basically, one day a week, at the end of the week, I'll go back through the spreadsheet and see what I've been favoriting and uh, make some sense of what I want to keep and not keep. So how do we do this? Really pretty simple. We're going to go right here to my applets right here, and we're going to choose new. So if this, what is it that we want to do? I want to move right into Twitter. I'm going to be talking a lot about Twitter when I go through and read through all the hashtags. Then I want to keep an idea. And so this one here, a new like tweet by me. So every time I like a tweet, it's going to trigger this next command. And so what I like to use is Google Sheets. I just like the way the flow. You could use a Google Doc. You could use whatever your, your platform is. Um, and so you can see all the options there when I was scrolling through. I'm just going to go right here to Google Sheets. And I'm going to add a row to a spreadsheet. And now the spreadsheet name is New Favorite Tweet by You. Um, I'm just going to call it Maker Ideas from Twitter. All right. Um, we're going to add that in there. Okay. You could go through and add different ingredients that you want to pull. I just type this in the way I want. And here's how they're going to format the rows. So it's going to tell me when it was created, the username of the person, the link to the URL that's in there, and then a link to the tweet. I could go through and add all these other things if I need to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it just like that. Here's my Google Drive folder. I have a folder already called IFTTT backslash Twitter. I could change this, whatever, and I'm you make it what you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and create action. Boom. Now it's going. It's running. And so now if I have a new like tweet by me, then it's going to add a row to that spreadsheet that, that I've created. And so as we go through here, and I look through my tab in my Google Drive, all right, you're not going to see anything because I haven't liked anything yet. Um, but if we go through here, like a file here, I'm just going to pick this one. I'm not sure what it is, but just for the sake of this video, this will automatically render things over to the Google Sheet. And then there it is. You can see... I'm just going to go ahead and format this uh, in the spreadsheet. I'm just going to move this over here to text wrap. All right, and you can see here, this is when I um, favorited the, the tweet or when it was posted. Here's by the person, here's the link in the tweet, and then here's the actual tweet itself. So this will just keep a running tally for me, and then I just go back and kind of highlight and make notes. Eventually I'll type in notes over here, like do this project or elementary or whatever it might be. Um, delete the ones that maybe I didn't mean to put in there. But this is just a good way to keep track of all the amazing ideas so I can beg, borrow, and steal from everyone else that's doing amazing work. All right, guys, hope this is helpful. Have a great day. Stay awesome. And let me know what else you use to keep track of all the amazing ideas being shared by educators from around the world.